friends, if you're anything like me, you have been getting a little stir crazy and that putting you in a bit of a mood. Now, of course, capitalism has told me the way to fix my sour down mood is of course to buy things. This is Bear, by the way. He is going to help me present to you today's video, which is a mostly Poshmark thrift haul. Well, not necessarily mostly Poshmark. Bear, do not jump. You are in jail. Bear is currently in pug jail, so he's going to be helping us. The first item I did not thrift, I actually got retail from Hot Topic. You might be thinking, Hot Topic doesn't usually fit your vintage aesthetic. Well, I got a little Kiki's Delivery Service blouse. It is 100% rayon and with vines and flower design all on the collar, all going down the buttons, a V, little radio. So does fit into the vintage aesthetic and a weave aesthetic. Here is some footage of how I styled it. I thought that the yellow in the flowers with the green of the vines would pair nicely with this absolutely hideous green skirt. So here is a nice transition point to what I actually got from Poshmark. I did get a couple reproduction dresses, vintage reproduction dresses. One is this pretty simple black swing dress from Stop Staring. It has these cute little cap sleeves. Um, it does show a lot of the chest area for me. I like the idea of a black swing dress in my wardrobe, so I'm gonna keep it and just see how much I actually do wear it uh, before determining if I want to replace it with a black swing dress that I would honestly love and wear a little bit more. Obviously, pretty simple style. I just put it with some black heels and some hair flowers. And you also get to see the appropriate amount of swoosh. Another dress that I'm not entirely sure about is this Collective X Mod Cloth dress. I love the color. I enjoy the buttons. Mixed on the chest triangle thing, I just don't feel like it fits me entirely correctly. I got this same dress before in an extra extra small and that one was so tight I had to give it to my mother. This one is only extra small and I still feel like it's a little bit baggy on me. You feel free to judge that. and. This is the way that I styled it. Okay, another vintage reproduction dress, but this one I absolutely love is my Tatiana Extra Small uh, little Russian babushka dolls dress. This, it did come with this green belt. I absolutely love the green belt, but I've also been pairing it because there are so many colors. I've been pairing it with like this red, teal, pink. There's just so many ways to focus on one color to bring it out. I styled it this way for the video, but honestly, I am having so much fun just trying out different colors and wearing it a bunch of different ways. So I am getting a bunch of use out of this dress and I'm very happy to have it as a piece of my wardrobe. Another thing that I bought that is relatively new is this very long blouse type deal. This is actually a Bolera, which is a dance costume company. So it is very well made. It is made to be performed in. And I just really liked like the the flouncy poofy sleeves with the bow on the collar. And I personally feel like it was a good addition to my wardrobe but because I am a big fan of black, but I did not necessarily have any good black blouses. So I feel like when I have to go back to the office, I will get a lot of wear out of it. And currently I am pairing it with a true vintage piece that I got off of Poshmark, which is this brown gingham jumper. I really love jumpers and generally this type of summer dress. I really love layering and how it can look pretty simple if you don't have anything under it, but add a blouse and it can be very classy, very office appropriate, very formal. Uh, the only weird thing about this dress, it has one single solitary white button. I honestly don't know which came first, the white button or the black button. Um, I might replace this guy eventually, but I kind of like how quirky he is right now. <laughs> and here is some footage of those two pieces styled together. It not only has pockets, it has very, very deep pockets. And what might be my current favorite true vintage dress is this right here. I'm not sure what era this is actually from. It's a pretty simple shirt dress. Could be 90s, 80s, 70s. I would say at oldest it's 40s. And it is definitely very well loved. I think something that makes this piece extra special I'm pretty sure a teenager probably learned to sew by making this dress. The seam allowances go from maybe a quarter inch to like three quarters of an inch, as well as there is no consistency 
in how exactly the seams are pressed. Some of the seams actually are pressed towards the front at the top of the seam and towards the back at the bottom of the seam. So they just rotate halfway down the skirt. And it does seem like a style that a teenager would wear. So here's some footage of how I styled it. I'm very happy to have this piece and I hope that I love it just as much as it has been loved in the past. Two more true vintage Poshmark purchases. Some skirts. I got this rusty orange gingham skirt. It doesn't have a label for fiber content, but it does feel like a natural material. I was told it was probably cotton. It does feel like that. And it's just a really simple pleated skirt in fall colors, which I adore. Here is me styling it. It is very light for this beautiful 90 degree summer weather we're having, but I can definitely layer it up and take these colors into the fall. And for a heavier duty fall skirt, I have a new dirndl skirt. Y'all know, <laughs> I like me some dirndl skirts. It has these flowers and heart designs on each of the belt loops and hiding in the pockets as well. This is 100% bomb wool, so I'm gonna guess that's wool and therefore not vegan. But I don't generally check the fiber content of things that I'm buying secondhand because that doesn't directly contribute to the manufacturer, so I see it as perfectly fine. To me, the priority is a natural material. But yeah, huge fan of dirndls, huge fan of green. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this skirt. And last but not least are the things that I got from Goodwill. Yes, Goodwill has been open for a while, apparently. I went to Goodwill in search of like a copy of Twilight or something, because usually Goodwill is lousy with those and Kiddo is running out of reading material and it's a cool edgy vampire book that's not at all edgy. So I went to Goodwill to see if they had a copy of Twilight and I came back with two clothing items and 47 Star Trek books. And I accidentally got a John Grisham novel because it was wedged in the Star Trek books. So if you hate lawyers or are a lawyer who hates yourself, I got a book for you in case you just want me to P.O. box it to you, just let me know. But the clothing items. It is summer, it is 90 degrees. I got a little black romper. It is an old navy romper, keeping with the natural materials. It is 100% rayon. It it's breathable, it's summery, it feels like a natural material. For the purposes of this argument, rayon is a natural material. Here is how I styled it though. I really like the brown on black and it's just a very easy throw on outfit to just run out to get the mail real quick. And in this case, it was just running out of the house to drop Kit off at gymnastics and pick her back up. And our last item are these little sandals. I don't think I actually own a pair of sandals and these are just very low heel, very cute wearable sandals that do give off a little vintagey flair to them. I have them styled with this here play suit that was not a very recent purchase, but now that it's summer, hopefully I can get a little bit more use out of it, and it does pair nicely with these cute little sandals. Thank you so much for watching. I know that you probably have some opinions about what I bought and the ethics and potential hazards of going to Goodwill at this time, so feel free to list any questions, comments, or concerns down below. I am no longer consistently putting videos out every Monday, sometimes Thursdays, but I do hope to have one out every week for you. I would love to have you stick around, so please like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you know when I actually do post. So stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for a blooper reel involving my dog. Bye. Bear. The first item. Hi. Don't step on that. <laughs> Goofy boy on the site. Just a second. I don't think you actually want to help Bear. <laughs>